Hey everybody, this is Matt, and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're in the new shop. Check it out. Uh, get a load of this cuckoo checkerboard floor behind me. Uh, for the next several episodes or videos that we do, you're probably going to hear me go, oh, we're in the new shop, because I still can't believe it. Um, we've got so much more space now, and uh, really looking forward to getting everything put together and you know situated where it's going to go. Uh, we're going to be moving my beloved pin router this weekend, and uh, my buddy Dave's going to come over and finish uh, our, our electrical for us. So lots and lots of great stuff coming up here at the new shop, and a lot of it is going to be stuff that you guys can get in on too. Um, but today I want to do a video on the coolest wood that you've never heard of. So everybody that knows me knows that I'm not as much of a wood snob as I used to be. I mean, I still like flame maple, and I still like mahogany, and I still like, um, you know, uh, zebra wood and stuff like that, kind of what I would call hippie wood. Um, it's got a lot of second cool to it. it. You know, it doesn't offer anything necessarily in the way of capability, but it certainly does offer something in the way of, of like something awesome that you can't really put your finger on. And one of the woods that I love is Black Leary. Now, whoa, check this out. <clears throat> so I just picked this piece of Black Leary up today, and it's, it's awesome. I mean, look at that. This stuff is kind of a hidden gem of the guitar industry. And yeah, you dig it the most. Now for all those people who want to know, what does it sound like when you tap it? Listen to that. It's got that Paul Reed Smith kind of thing where you, you do like a... Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Black Leary is extra, extra cool. But where do you find it? Okay guys, I have a confession to make. There's no such thing as Black Leary. It's something that I made up. This is a piece of poplar here. You don't believe me, but I'll show you. I just bought this today from Paxton Hardwoods because it is an example of a piece of poplar that really looks awesome. I have, I have never actually seen one this, this crazy dark before and purpley and, and it's got so much weird stuff going on. Uh, I had to buy it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but I had to spend... Um, actually, the guys at Paxton hooked me up with this. I had to buy it, but they gave, me, they gave me a deal on it. It wasn't very much. So in case Mrs. Texas Toast is watching, I didn't spend very much on this. Um, but this is regular old poplar, and poplar is... If, let me tell you this. Guys, if, if all poplar looked like this, everybody would want a guitar made <laughs> out of it because it's just so neat. Um, and it wouldn't be, gosh, I think this stuff was like $4 a board foot or something like that, maybe a little less. And, and like I say, my, my buddies at Paxton hooked me up with this, this particular chunk because I'm saying Paxton a lot and because um, they have poplar at Paxton. And I shopped at Paxton and I got this at Paxton. So they hooked me up with a little bit of a deal. But, um, you know, for a while there, a lot of people uh, were using poplar because it was less expensive. And we use poplar a lot. Uh, it is very rare to find it looking like this, but um, you know, here's another thing. If all poplar looked like this, it wouldn't be $4 a board foot. It'd be 12 or 15. Um, but yeah, so, uh, um, people have, have told me in the past that they can hear the difference between alder and poplar. And, okay, maybe, but I, I wouldn't, you know, as when you guys are out there building your guitars, especially if you're building, you know, something that's like a prototype or something that you want to you know, have something that works real easy and isn't very expensive, or you know, you're doing your first one. At all of our build classes, you'll start with a with a chunk of poplar, just because you know it's it's easy. It's not going to be the last guitar you ever build. There's be plenty of time for you to use you know a $500 billet of of quilt maple, and in the meantime, you can use poplar. And who knows, it might even look a little bit like this. So there you have it, guys. Don't be so quick to to uh, not use poplar. It's a really great wood. And uh, I'd, I'd be interested to hear how many of you guys will admit in the comment section below how many of you guys I fooled um, in the first minute of this video thinking that this was a super awesome guitar wood that you'd never heard of. Um, those of you, I, I'm sure there's a lot of guys who have seen Poplar that looks like this, but you know what? I use Poplar a lot and I haven't seen it. So check it out and give Poplar a try. Even if it doesn't you know, look like this kooky walnut purple 
art stuff. Um, give it a shot and see what you think. Uh, poplar's a great wood, it's really inexpensive, it machines great, it's, uh, it's terrific to work with, and it's really affordable. So give it a try and let me know what you think. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're closing in on 10,000 subs, and um, it is my very sincerest hope that if you watch this video in a few months, we'll be way past 10,000, and you'll go, we already are at 10,000. Um, so, so yeah, help us, help us make this video be the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back for subs, guys. Um, if you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. Even a buck a month helps us out quite a bit and helps us bring you guys cool stuff like this. If you can't do Patreon, we totally get it. Please share this video as many places as you can on the uh, Insta Google Twitface stuff and uh, help us get the word out that way. Uh, We've got a lot of new stuff on our website because we're in a brand new shop. Go check that out, texastoastguitars.com. And until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. I